All right, guys, CodaBoy32 here, check it out. So what you're looking at is a bipod, and this is the, this is the Atlas bipod. This this is by BNT Industries, the BT46-LW17 PSR Atlas bipod. Now, this also incorporates the American Defense quick detachment lever. This is the original. This, this is one of the ones that you're going to pay real money for. It is not one of these and it's not one of these guys right here these are let's just say amazon knockoffs now we're going to do a two-part series and we're going to do we're going to do a couple different little things we're going to talk about these guys at the end and how they compare with this one uh, again like i said this is the original bipod and it is designed specifically for professional use one of the aspects about the Atlas bipod is yes, it is expensive and yes, it is designed for professional use. Now, let me show you guys something. This thing is absolutely amazing. It is a machine piece of art. And as such, it is expensive. These things range from $300, $279, $320, $319. I believe the one like this one right here retails at BT Industries for $329, $319, somewhere along in there. What you're paying for, and, and that's one of the questions people often ask me is, is, well, what in the wide, wide world of sports am I getting when I purchase a $300, uh, $200 bipod? Well, Guys, you're getting quality, you're getting a lifetime warranty, and you're getting something that is absolutely American-made and machined. It is a piece of art, and it is absolutely amazing. I've, I've actually handed this to a couple of people, and they have trouble with the concept of paying that much money for an, a bipod. But what you're getting is the assurance that it is absolutely perfect in every way. Now this guy right here, you can configure the legs in so many different ways that it's absolutely not funny. The nice thing that I do like about these particular legs that, well, you're not gonna find on the knockoffs is that these legs, they do not turn, which means that on a concrete surface or on a wood surface, you're gonna be able to, to front load that bipod. You'll be able to put pressure on it where these guys right here, let me show you. And actually, this is a pretty good representation of a knockoff. These legs spin, which means that no matter what you do, you're not going to be able to front load it. One of the other things that you're going to get, I'm going to do it. I'm actually got a video review coming out on this guy right here. But look at this. That is the problem. So I'm not going to talk about these guys anymore. But one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I mean, look at that junk. That is, this is junk. And I think I, I pretty much as much said it in the video is that uh, I just can't accept this. And be honest with you, if I had to pay money for something like this, I'd be sending it back. All right. So what's the deal here? You've got a beautiful piece of equipment, bipod, American Defense. It is absolutely incredible in every way, shape, or form. All right, so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to read directly off of some of this stuff. So uh, it's got the American Defense lever right there. I love it. 7075 aluminum, T6 aluminum, mil spec type 3 hard coat anodized, heat treated, stainless steel components, as you can see right here. Everything has been machined. It is absolutely perfect. This was the bipod that they chose to put on the SOCOM PSR weapon system. And that's the uh, Precision Sniper Rifles. <laughs> the damn thing's like $21,000. I actually looked it up and thought about, hey, I wouldn't mind having one of those. Not in my lifetime. Basically, you've got legs that extend out to 9 inches. And the cool thing about it is you can configure these things up so that you can put the legs forward. If you're on an uneven surface, you can go ahead and you can mount them like that. If you're on top of, a, say, a culvert, you can put them like this. You can have them at different heights to accommodate for different size terrain, different angles of terrain. Now, I also am a big Harris fan. So I like this Harris bipod. This is on the Mark 12 here. And this the reason I do like these is because they have the auto eject legs like that. I do like this also because it swivels as well. Now, how do we address that over here? This guy swivels as well also. It pivots on the front portion right there and you can tighten that up or loosen that by utilizing this bottom turn you know, right here. And it'll tell you which to tighten up or loosen. I think I got it one of the others. 
Damn thing is amazing. But in any case, you've got these little pins that you can knock out right here and you can put leg extensions in. They sell those separately. You've got spikes, you've got skids, all kinds of cool stuff. The thing actually weighs 13.61 ounces. Now, one of the things that I might do down the road is I'm going to do a review comparison between Atlas and the Harris bipod. That where this guy goes ahead and it mounts directly to your 1913 rail, you have to have a sling swivel for the Harris to mount. Is that a big deal? No, not really. Also, one of the things that comes on this specific bipod is when you have it in this position, you can load it up and these will allow for just a little bit of movement and tension fore and aft. One of the other items that you'll notice is just the knurling on this thing is just so aggressive. It's not even funny. Uh, on the knockoffs, you can see there's just a little less. It's uh, a lot finer on the checkering, but this guy right here, it is actually made for combat. You know, it's not a toy. It's kind of like, if I can equate it to your Trigicon versus something like this. Say, say for instance, this little guy right here, this is a little knockoff. It's a nice little, what do you call it, a uh, red dot. But is it something that I'm going to take into combat versus an EOTech? No. So that's the analogy, if you can afford something like this, then you probably already know about it and you're getting it. To mount this thing, all you got to do, this is a, a uh, thumb lock right there. Just put it in here like so and bring it back. Now the nice thing is, is these legs, you can bring them out to the front. You can bring them to the rear, just like this. And on this specific rifle, what I like to do is I will mount it on that very front Picatinny rail section right there. And that way, I can bring it back like this. And if I need to, I can actually use this as a portion to support the weight of this rifle, just like that. That's pretty neat. Bring it into action, put it just like that, and go from there. Now watch this, you can bring back and you can do the swivel back and forth, front and rear. And also, it will swivel side to side. So. As a matter of reasoning, why would you buy a bipod that costs this much money? You're getting the Mac Daddy of them all. You got $3,000 tied up in a rifle. Don't schnip and put something like this on. Now, one of the things we're going to get into in another video is how some of these companies on Amazon are taking this design and they're selling it at a much reduced rate. I mean, something like this you can buy for $44. But what's happening is, is that you're getting a hunk of junk in replacement of the real deal. There was a, a contractor who actually bought a bunch of these and was selling them to the Department of Defense under the premise that they were actually purchasing true Atlas bipods. So anyway, guys, that's my reasoning. And you will see this bipod being used this week along with this entire rifle setup. So we'll give you some more information as we go. But before I've posted the one video that's coming out, I wanted to show you the real deal versus this thing here. So, but you know, again, there are some better uh, renditions of it, better knockoffs, and counterfeits. That's about it. If you have any comments, questions, or anything down below concerning this Atlas bipod, please don't hesitate in asking. I'll answer as best I can. But I will tell you what, it is truly a piece of art. And I know people in the industry who will not put anything less on their rifles. It's Coda Boy 32. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Let's go to 132. Out.